Alright, I'm back with the Road to Halloween on Castlevania Harmony of Dissonance Part 2. We're going to count this as Part 2. So, I don't remember. Oh, yeah, I went through that mirror. Oh, wait a minute. Oh, no. Oh, no, 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 no. Oh, shit. Okay, I got so fucking worried. Okay, I need to go ahead and save over my last um, load. That scared the shit out of me. I thought I got fucking so far, like, left. Oh my god. Oh my god, that scared me. Okay, so I've been exploring the top half. Fuck, that scared me. Um, I explored the bottom half with the mirror. Did all that, got my second jump. So I'm just exploring more stuff. Apparently I have 55% of the map done. I don't think I've found like any secret rooms. So either you need to power up to break them or they're just not there. Ooh, but I got my cross, so that's good. Oh, I guess it didn't matter which way it went up. <coughs> These are still some weak enemy types. Did I ever get that skeleton heart? I don't remember if I did or not. I'm gonna go back. Well, when I go back down, I need to go check for that. There we go. So I got all this gold. Yes, yeah, I still don't know what you do with it. I thought I'd find a shop or something by now. Damn, killed him in one hit. Save room, but I wasn't even that injured. Okay, I wonder. Th there's no way that's the top of his castle, like where Dracula is. Okay, whatever. Um, guess I'm gonna find another portal room or something. So there's something this way. Oh! Is that the fucking shop? That's a good question. <laughs> well, I love how they realize it's a shitty explanation, so they just roll with it. Let's see if there's anything that's more luck based. Increase the strength of the cross. I can't even afford that. Like, they realize how OP the cross is. 
Or maybe they have... They sell an item based on whatever sub-weapon you have at that time. Who knows? Okay, now where am I going? Oh, all the way to the right. Where are you going with it? Where are you going with it? Oh, I got a hundred. Still not enough for the cross item. Though I, I'm definitely going to buy that when I get the chance. Okay, so I guess I'm just going to go down, 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 down. I'm going to save first. God, seriously, that scared the fuck out of me when I thought I lost all my progress. I was about to cry. Still don't have whatever key is used to open those doors. Okay, well that's all explored, so I can go down, right, down. Down, right, down, and then left down. Oh, no I can't because the thing's blocking it. Oh, so where do I go? Hmm. Oh, actually, there's a room on the far left of the map that looks like you need something to jump into. But... Actually, also, there's a room if I go right, up, right, down, left. I'm gonna try that. Right, up. Left, I said? Yeah. Oh, fuck, that's why. Alright, I guess we're gonna go all the way down. If that bone hits me, I'm gonna be kinda mad. Oh, that furniture room. I have to go put some more of that furniture up. This is the first time I got hit by one of those guys. Like, in every Metroidvania, I guess every game in leveling in general, you just get so confident because you level up and have so much health where you don't even care if things hit you anymore. Like, in the beginning of this game, I think I died like three, two or three times back to back. Oh, forgot about that. That mirror looks cool. It's probably like a secret entrance to somewhere else. But yeah, I forgot the... I had the Cross Frost ability. Let's go find a boss with it. Well, I guess as soon as I find one. Where the hell is it? Skull Tower, anyways. Is it down here? That's so awesome. Okay, it's definitely over here, because that's the skull now. So I think it lasts for as long as it makes two hits. Then after it makes two hits, it, um, whatever side it is comes back. So I'm going to go down and then right. Very 
Okay. Oh, you can come back, little guy. Take that. Okay, yeah, I think it's at the top of this tower. Oh, those things just blended in. I'm gonna jump over these things. I don't even think they're worth the XP. Although, I guess they can hurt me on the way back down, but like I said, I'm not too worried about it. That looks like Carmilla's uh, mask from. Castlevania 2. Oh, uh, awesome. You could activate or fight here. It's not. Alright, continuing on. One money. I got one money. I guess there's some all the way on the right. I wonder if it's like a one. It's probably another blocked off door. That's a bad skeleton spider. Shit. <laughs> That's just so fun to dash. You literally didn't have a dash in the, in the uh, last game. So just moving around is a little bit monotonous after a while. I'm gonna go. Oh, nope. Give him my cross back. I was gonna be super angry about that. Okay, where's the warp mirror at? Well, actually, there's... Mm. Yeah, I guess the one on the right is closer. So I'm gonna go right up, right down. Right? Okay, that's right. So now I'm going up. This is the way, right? Yep, so... Oh, fuck, that's a little bit further than I thought originally. Oh, well. So, all the way right, down, then... I mean, all the way left, down, then all the way left again. At this point, I, I have to kill you. At this point, just 
pretty linear to the warp room. Oh, yeah, I remember these fucking things. Damn it. I deserve that. Damn, they really don't have a lot of health either. On this side, might as well. Okay, there's the warp room. Oh, and this is a new area. Well, I guess I'll just explore this then. Coot scene. There's a fucking fly in here, and I don't have a fly swatter on me right now. Oh, so uh, he's the grandson of Simon. So yeah, this is this is pretty early in the timeline. Yo, now that I hear that fly because the music's off for this cutscene, it's starting to annoy the shit out of me. And that motherfucker's fast, too. Whatever. So, oh, he just referenced, um... They just directly referenced Castlevania 2 there. Hold up. Okay, I fucking killed that little bastard. So let's continue on. So, um, so they just referenced Castlevania 2, like, oh, you know, no one's cursed right now, and we don't have the remains, so he can't come back. At first... It's God. Well, and I guess Lied. Lid. Not a balloon, it's a jellyfish. Silly game. Poison. Oh, I'm about to die. Good fucking call, game. <laughs> I'm putting that right there. All those blue bastards. He's a big boy. Oh, so you don't have to kill them. Just walking by them makes them explode. 
Oh yeah, I got the sliding ability. Forgot about that. I like that background effect. It's really cool. Especially for a GBA game. Chapel. Dissonance. Oh, it's like the title of the game. What the hell does distance even mean? Anyways, um, I think this, this should be the same chapel that was um, in Symphony of the Night, which had that weird song in the confession room. I like that song. Oh, so that even goes through walls, okay. Looks like a gate. I say looks like it's kind of hard to tell what what objects are. Feels like I'm leading up to something. Another hundred. I might be able to afford that cross uh, support item even sooner. Emerald cloak. Okay, so what is that then? Higher defense, lower... Oh, but that's... Okay, so that's higher if I do it that way. So basically, everything but the body's interchangeable. I, no, I lied. I lied. So there's two good sections. <coughs> so, okay. Makes more sense. Maybe that's not a game. Wait, can I bounce off him? I can! Shit. Fuck. See, they didn't even say anything about downward dashing. I just didn't read it. Entirely possible. Back! Alright, I actually didn't mean to kill that one. Got it! So, what the hell does that do? That's power to negate curses. Okay. Kind of weird how I would be in such good shape, but, you know.
What's up, Taze? Damn it! Okay, well, I don't think it can do anything in this room. So. Oh, bone towers. Alright, sounds good. So, I, this is, I guess technically it's my third part, but I'm calling it my second one, because uh, my actual second one I was drinking, and uh, I kind of quit early. But yeah, I'm only like, what, five, five hours in? No. A couple hours, hours in. And I've already explored 65% of the map. Doing good, actually. But yeah, most Castlevania games takes you a while to explore, and there's like a bunch of secret areas, but... No, this game don't really have a lot of secret areas. You're just going from room to room. Yeah, like I said, I'm doing good. How are you doing? I've seen you uh, when you popped in the other day for the um, the Sonic EXE stream. Down, left, right. It takes three. I thought I was taking two to kill those guys earlier. After Symphony of the Night, they use that formula a lot. Doing good. Um, yeah, they did. Like Symphony of the Night really changed the trajectory of how Castlevania games would go forward. Although this is part traditional because you're still a Belmont, so you're not changing any equipment. Um, so you're really mostly relying on your whip and sub weapons, although I've hardly used my sub weapons. They do have a leveling system, but I mean. Um, you don't get all the same, same skills, because in Symphony of the Night, they gave you a bunch of skills to traverse the map with. And this game, they just take away some of your other features that were in other games and then sell them back to you as. Uh, boss rewards. No, that's all good. I was streaming pretty late that day. It, it took me a while to figure out how to even set up on the PC. Um, because I've had this PC for a couple months now, but I've never streamed on it. Because I wanted a second monitor, and when I was getting ready to buy a second monitor, come to find out that uh, my tower doesn't support two HDMIs. So I'm like, okay, so one's a VGA and one's a HDMI. So I go buy a VGA cable. Turns out it's not a VGA. It's a fucking uh, DMI cable or some shit like that. Oh, there's the boss room. Is there a save room nearby? So either way, I had to go find a whatever cable to HDMI converter. I finally found it, so I was able to stream on that. Although, I'm not a big fan of PC gaming. Like, I can't use a keyboard the same way I can a controller. So I think next time I play that game, I'm definitely going to get a controller program that will remap um, controller to do, like, keys. Is that so Hell, I was even doing that when I was playing RuneScape. I actually remapped an Xbox controller to play RuneScape, and I was just clicking that way. Because I like to sit back and play games. I don't like to lean forward. Um... So playing on a keyboard where you kind of like have to like hunch over, it's, it's not for me. Yeah, I feel you have to have a splitter. Damn. Yeah, and like I spent almost 2000 on this computer, so you would think it would come up with a second HDMI slot, but whatever. It is what, I got it to work, it is what it is, so. The fuck is that? Damn you. I came down here for healing. You're taking more of my health. There we go. And seriously, there's not a lot of like secret stuff to explore in this game. And it really makes... I don't know if it makes me sad or if it irks me, because it's like... I've been swinging my whip at every wall I see. And, um... Eventually, you know, you, you at least break one or two walls, but... See, look, that's something you could break, but I guess not now because I don't have a power-up. I think they fucking locked wall-breaking behind an ability, which goes back to the thing earlier. They take away abilities you had in other games and sell it back to you as boss rewards. Kind of fucked up, but... Whatever. It's not, even, it's not even like you can break every wall. It's only some of them. I think there's only one wall in this entire game. 
if I'm even remembering that correctly, that I could break. The audacity of the enemy. The audacity of these motherfuckers. I was, like, the first day I streamed this, during my drunk stream, drinking stream, I died like two or three times. Because right before that, we were actually playing Smash Brothers, and uh, I got pretty close. This is a good time. You know what? We're going to use my Frost Bible. Thing does damage. Kind of want to go back through here because I, I know I'm gonna have to. Oh, what the hell is this? No, no, no. Fuck it, slide through. We're not doing that. I don't know if I need an item or if they just want you to blind through it. But last time on Circle of the Moon. I thought they wanted you to tank the Blood River. And so I spent like two parts doing that. It turns out all you need was an item from death to let you walk through it safely. So I wasted like, in, what, two hours of my time doing that? Um, if it's a different character, so much just five. Not being able to yet, perhaps. Well, but like... I mean, this is like some basic items you... some Just like breaking walls, for example. I can understand some things like the double jump, like, yeah, they make you unlock the double jump in almost every game, but... Like, this fucking... the slide? Like, this thing? Are you shit? This shouldn't be locked behind an ability. Also, because they got that Castlevania, um, for free right now, not Harmony of Dissonance, um, Harmony of Despair out on Xbox, and sliding's like the thing that everybody gets. Although, that's a completely different game altogether. Shit, did I pass up that boss room? Oh, wait, there was a save room down there. I'm dumb. I'm dumb. I was talking so much, and I got completely sidetracked. We're gonna kill that boss, see what he gives me. But yeah, I've... Like... I don't know, I've just been going through one path, and I'm already, like, over halfway done with exploration of the castle. That makes me sad. I mean, I guess that means I can play Aria of Sorrow quicker. Uh, cause that's actually, like, that's the Castlevania game that got me into the Metroidvania style of gameplay. Cause I played Castlevania before, but I've never played, like, a Metroidvania. Cause I honestly never played Symphony of the Eve of the Night until, um, earlier this year or last year when they put it on, um, Games of Gold. So that was my first time ever playing Symphony of the Night. So my first, you know, experience was Aria Sorrow, and then I got Donna Sorrow on the DS. That was a good time. And actually, this game, um, or I guess Castlevania is what got me to want to play Bloodstained. And man, I love both Bloodstained games, like the 2D ones and the. Well, I guess the other one's 2D, but, you know, 2.5D or whatever they want to call it. Okay, who am I fighting here? You know, it don't matter. I'm going to cheese it. The Devil. He was like a... He wasn't even a uh, side boss in the other game. He was just a really tough... Like a super tough man. Actually, I don't think I even killed him on the other game. I might have killed him once. I think I just kept running away from him because he just did a lot of damage for no reason. I'm out of MP. Shit. We're just trading blows at this point. <coughs> ah, get away from me! I played one Casmine growing up. It was 64 skeletons and motorcycle goofies. I never played that one, but um, from what I understand, Castlevania 64 was like just god awful. Oh, did I already kill him? Or are we in phase two right now? No, I already killed him. God damn, the cross is super broken in this game. Night goggles, so I think that'll let me see in that other room. Seriously, like. The cross in this game is super OP. I love it. Clock Tower. Um, 
before I explore this area, I do want to go explore that fucking... That other one. The night one. Like, I really do think I'm nearing the end of the game already. And it still feels like... Still feels like... I've only started. I wonder if they're gonna do an upside down mode in this game, like they did in um, Symphony of the Night. Kinda doubt. I mean, I kinda doubt it, but, you know. It's probably not possible. Symphony of the Night, though, that was an actual. That was like a hard as shit game. Okay, so night goggles don't do what I thought they do. Is it an equipable item I have to do? Yep. Oh. Oh! That was a face guard. Protect the user's face. Oh, it's got a lot of defense, actually. As soon as I'm done with this little area, I'm gonna... Or when I take the night goggles off, I know I'm trading it for. Ooh. Yep. At least one of these walls needs to be breakable. Like, come on. Bunny hops. What the hell does a chaos ring do? Increase the user strength of holy water. Oh, okay. So they have one for each individual um, sub weapon. In fact, there's a way to skip getting your item joint. But death and speedrunners do. Yeah, I can't do any speedrunner tricks at all. The only speedrunning thing I know how to do is jump over piranha plants when they're fully exposed in Mario 1. It's not really a trick, but, you know, I never did it prior to watching speedruns. There's some speedruns I'm watching, I'm like, I don't... Cause, okay, before you watch the speedruns, there's like, there's no way someone can beat a game this quickly. And then you see a bunch of exploits, you're like, oh. Oh, damn. Speedrunning is always fascinating. Yeah, I could never do it, but they are fun to watch occasionally. Gotta be in the right mood for them. Like, sometimes, I'll just... Well, I'm not gonna get into that. <laughs> Fuck these things. You know what? This kind of reminds me of the um, the Fishman thing from Cabin in the Woods or whatever. That weird horror movie slash comedy thing that's supposed to be a dissection of horror movies. That's what that little merman thing reminds me of. Oh. Well, that's an actual merman, though. Nope. So, when I... My first part, I was going to keep the fist because, you know, he says Aura Aura, so I'm like, oh, JoJo reference. And then I realized how bad they are. Like, the fists do some damage, yeah, but they leave you super exposed, especially since you have to keep moving forward um, while they're active. Okay, so there's going to be a lot of split paths. I can already tell. It's a perfect trick. Everyone's asshole clinches. God damn, yeah, I don't know how anyone does anything frame perfect. Especially going back to Mario, because Mario, you have a bunch of frame perfect things you have to do. And on top of that, you had to beat the level at frame perfect timings to get a uh, better RNG. Well, I mean, they're not random, but if you beat the game at a certain, or at a certain game tick, it changes how the RNG works on other levels. Oh, okay, that's what I was waiting on. Like, I think I brought this up the other day. God damn it! Oh, oh, okay. Um, I tried doing speedrunning in Mario 64. 
and I I can kind of do a backwards long jump on a stair, but like the first one to skip the first star door, I can't ever figure out. I can get behind the wall, and then I'll, I can't do the backwards long jump again to get to the other side, and then behind the star door. So what does a blue gem do? Adds ice. I mean, does it even look better? Oh, I think it does more damage to these things. Let's try a redstone just to see. That was at 30 with the redstone. Okay, so now let's try electricity. Okay, so we're going with bluestone. My frame perfect tricks, mind boggling, quick. <laughs> Wahoos. There's one trick um, that they do on the Rainbow Road where you have to like hold a bomb and it makes you walk backwards and you have to triple long jump. Triple, triple long jump and then wall jump slide on a perfect fucking uh, clip. Like a pixel perfect clip. Just to save you like 17 seconds. But if you fuck it up, it pretty much ruins your run. And it's for a while it seemed almost impossible to do unless you was like a unless you was using a, a task bot. But then people just kept trying it over and over, and eventually people managed to do it, um, you know, with their own like hands. Which is crazy. The amount of time these people put in speed running, it's it's amazing. I wish I could speed run. In my uh, videos would actually be interesting. I just speed run videos all day. That takes a lot of dedication. Hell, I get bored of games even without speedrunning. I have to take breaks uh, every now and then. Like, I took a break from Fancy Star for like a whole week just because... Actually, not just from Fancy Star. I took a break for a whole week because I didn't want to stream Fancy Star. I was having fun in the beginning and that game just got monotonous. I'm still not done with it. Like, literally after Castlevania, I'm picking back up with it. Damn, we get a lot of XP down here. Try. Yep, still no destructible walls. Oh, oh, okay. Don't want the Bible. Like Pokemon, I'd say they're probably easier to be run. I hate Pokemon. I don't know. I've run, went on several uh, tangents about why I hate Pokemon. I don't like turn based games in general. Um. Like, I used to like it as a kid. I liked Pokemon, because I had Pokemon Blue on the, on the Game Boy. Um, and then I had Pokemon Crystal. And then I tried playing Emerald. Because, you know, me still being a kid, I'm like, oh, I love Pokemon. So I tried playing Emerald, and I got bored before I even got to the first gym. And that's when I realized, like, I'm just sick of turn-based games. I did play that Yu-Gi-Oh! Uh, game for a little bit, but... Oh, I should probably heal. That's a little bit different, um, because it was more... It was part RTS and part turn based, so they had something to break up the monotony of uh, the turn based shit. Or if it is turn based, like, you need to be able to move your characters around, like Advanced Wars or um, Ogre Battle or Tactics Ogre. Like, it can be turn based, but, you know, it can't be like Pokemon style or Final Fantasy style turn based. It needs to be something that has more of a metagame to it. Like Yu-Gi-Oh! Or Ogre Battle, Tactics Ogre, Advanced Wars, Fire Emblem, and things of that nature. War Groove. Remember that we're talking about Yu-Gi-Oh! After talking about during Yu-Gi-Oh! Oh! Oh yeah, forgot I brought it up. Yeah, I brought it up quite a bit on Yu-Gi-Oh! But, I mean, that's okay. I don't expect anyone to remember shit. I, cause I'll make the same conversations over and over and over. That's just how I am. Choki gets mad at me. He's like, we've talked about this. I said, oh, we have? He's like, yeah. I'm like, oh, well, that's okay, because I wanted to tell the story again anyways. And then he just grunts. He's just like, ugh. I do that, though. I will. I love harping on the same stories. Um, 
No, I think I got behind that guy and there was a wall, so we're not going that way anymore. We're gonna go up and up now. Yeah, I got two... Actually, speaking of that Yu-Gi-Oh game, I got two comments recently. Uh, one dude was telling me, he's like, uh, you should put on Legendary Sword and whatnot to increase the tag of your characters. That tell him, I was like, yeah, I did that in later parts. Like, I'm, I'm already finished with the playthrough. I just upload them slowly. And then, like, 20 minutes later, I had another comment. It's like, oh, you should do this. Like, yeah, I'm already done. Like, are you going to do Yu-Gi-Oh story? Like, I'm, I'm already finished Yu-Gi-Oh story. Finish Joey's story, just I only upload once a week um, for games. Actually, this month is a little bit crazy. Because from last Sunday all the way till t Thursday, tomorrow, I'm going to be uploading uh, parts from Castlevania Circle of the Moon. Then on Friday, it's Yu Gi Oh! Oh, I lied to that dude. I got to go back and say Friday. Um, on Friday, I upload Yu Gi Oh! On Saturday, I upload. Clancy's Wildlands, and then Sunday's whatever um, Zelda game I'm playing at that time. I think I'm still on Wind Waker. And then later this month, when uh, Mario Party comes out, me and Chogo will be playing that. I've been wanting to play Mario Party on online. I like. I haven't actually played my Switch that much, honestly. Like, I, I've definitely got my money's worth from my Switch. Um, but I don't play it the same way I play my Xbox. It's not even close. But when they do have some games on there, oh my god! Like Fire Emblem, I put over 120 hours in that into that game. What boss is it? Oh, what are you? A merman? Okay. Uh, yeah, you sent your minions, they're already dead. Ow. God! Again, the cross is broken. Legends Arc is gonna be open. I seen that. I actually, I actually seen that trailer. I even told Choka. I said, you know what? I hate Pokemon, but Legends Arc is a game I would maybe consider because it's more um, scout. Like I like, I like the idea of scouting and you know completing an index. I like that part of Pokemon, like the whole catch them all part. I just don't like the process of catching them all too much. Yeah, honestly, I think that's a good... Uh, Pokemon needs to be, like... Pokemon Combat needs to be more like Modern Final Fantasy or Xenoblade. Like, they need to do away with the turn-based system and make it more, like, real-time. And then with your specials coming up uh, on timers and cooldowns. I mean, that would completely, like, redo the franchise. And I'm sure a lot of people would hate it. But honestly, I mean... Well, they shouldn't even take my advice, because I, I don't like Pokemon. So if they took my advice, that'd be dumb. But if they did that, I'd, uh, I'd actually play the game. Kind of like, um... I'll let you know if it turns out. I might get it when it comes out. I don't know. Um, what was that fucking... Try... Not try... Um, Freddy... Freddy Frazbear World or something like that? Like that kind of combat game. I like that. That was cool. Because, like, I understand why they did turn-based back in the, in the day. It was based on, you know, limitations of the console. I understand that completely. But we're past those limitations now. So we don't have to keep designing games with, like, random encounters and uh, turn-based strategy. Now, I know the new Pokemon game, they had, like, the feel where you could see the Pokemon ahead of time. Um, 
So, like, they're they're slowly coming ahead, but it's like, you know... I think we're past that in game design, honestly. That's like that most games don't do random encounters anymore, because, like, it's a shit system. It made sense back in the day, but, you know... Actually, I love how Zelda 2 did their random encounters. Um, of all, like, the classic games that had random encounters, Zelda 2, I think, did theirs the best. Like, it was random, but not completely, and you had... You could dictate what would happen, but still with a lot of elements of random in there to kind of throw you off. I think that game had a great balance. Zelda 2 is a fun game. Every now and then I'll get into the mood to play Zelda 2, and I'll play it to a certain point, and then I'll just get bored. Ooh, what, what, ooh, what is that? What is that? Floating platforms, okay. I was about to just jump into those bikes. Fuck! I ended up jumping into him. Fuck! Your invincibility frame did not last very long. You know, at least I bounced the right way this time. So if you turn, you'll bounce the opposite direction. Okay. Uh, let's go right. Let's see what's on the left. Or the left. Oh, leads me to the clock tower. Oh, the harpy's pretty big in this game. The um, I guess the more popular model of the harpy. Oh, I just connected with that other room. Okay. Let's go the spikes. I mean, it doesn't do that much damage though. Honestly, um, I thought it would have did a lot more. In Castlevania Harmony of Despair, spikes do a ton of damage in that game. I think it's percentage based. Honestly, I think it's percentage based on your max health. Although, I might be wrong on that. Because if it is flat, it does a lot of flat damage. Why do I have to fight you? What am I doing? The other Castlevania game, Circle of the Moon, it encouraged you to kill certain enemies because they had those cards on them that you wanted to collect. Um, this game doesn't really encourage you to kill enemies. It encourages you to explore, but there's not a lot to explore. I mean, what the fuck's a hint card? Because there's not a lot of hidden walls. Secret info. Okay. Collectibles. No? What am I doing with the fucking hint card game? Hint card four. Some spells can be cast multiple times. Oh! Okay. Thanks for the info. I'm 78% done with this fucking castle, and you give me a, a hint. I've never seen any other hint card. And this is the first one I've seen, and it gives you the most basic-ass information. Might as well just tell me to press the A button to jump. I'm just gonna abuse the hell out of the cross. Ooh. Scale armor. Damn. Well, it's not that big of an upgrade compared to the press X to Jason. Is that a reference to the Friday the 13th game? I don't get it. Side note, I was talking about Jason X earlier today. Or was it... No, I was talking about it yesterday. I used to love those Friday the 13th movies. Okay, export. So I need to go all the way right. Speaking of that, me and Joker thought about streaming Friday the 13th. Last time we played it, though, some fucking asshole, one of the survivors, uh, was friends with Jason. So they just went around and just showed him where all the survivors were hiding. Like, which completely ruins the game. Even when I play that game with my buddies, I don't do that shit. That just, like, ruins the game. Heavy Rain. I, I don't know what Heavy Rain is. Is it a game? 
I feel like it's a game franchise. Is it a shooter like Metal Slug? It's Heavy Rain Metal Slug. Let's start you looking for a kill, possibly for sex, to keep yelling for him, and it becomes a meme. Oh, okay. Yeah, I've literally never heard of that. How niche is that game? Yeah, you save room. Speaker for the chair. Right, I got the right spin. I seen that. Uh, that happened a while back, didn't it? And because of that, they fucked over um, the Friday the 13th video game. So they couldn't. They were working on a Jason X update, and all, like, and a new map. And uh, when that, when the writer got the rights back, it kind of fucked that game over since they didn't technically have the rights to work on it anymore. The writer could have been cool. He could have said, "You know what, guys? You can keep working on it. Just pay me some royalties." But he said, "Nah, fuck it. No one gets to enjoy Jason ever again. Fuck you." I don't like the writer. No good look up Heavy Rain. Uh, I'll look up Heavy Rain when you look up um, Anoshka Crossing. Zone. I'm not their name. Camel by camel. But anyway, speaking of... Ooh. That should be called a final armor. Anyways, so speaking of niche memes, uh, and Yu-Gi-Oh, since we were talking about Yu-Gi-Oh too, one of the fucking niche memes in Yu-Gi-Oh is just explaining what... Uh, what the fuck? Oh, I guess you're supposed to knock him into it. And it's one of the niche memes in Yu-Gi-Oh is just to explain what Pot of Greed does. It's a stupid... It is a stupid meme. But, uh, it's there. And I appreciate it. Oh, that's cool! You know what? Fuck luck. I'm gonna put all the Guardian stuff on. Why would I put on a Guardian helm for legs? Okay, there we go. And then a Guardian boots. Damn, my defense is hella high. Basically, one kid dies, the other kid gets kidnapped, plays various characters with a bunch of time prompts and it's therapy. Is it like an indie game? Like, I swear I've heard it before, I just never knew what it was. Kind of like Chris Chan. I heard of Chris Chan for years, never knew what he was. I just thought he was like the top authority on Sonic. Um, and then one day I decided to actually look about what Chris Chan was, and I was like, huh, that's neat. Ooh. Um, does this do anything? Or am I just being stupid? I think I'm just being stupid. Okay. Where else can I go? I can go down. Going down, 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 down. I fucking hate that song. Don't think so, it's pretty meme to know. Huh. That's weird. Oh no, Chris. Yeah. Um, ever since then, I've been, I've been kind of checking the Kiwi farms to see if there's any updates with Chris. Um, I guess he wrote he wrote a letter to Noel, the owner of Kiwi Farms, and now he believes he's the second coming of Jesus, and people shouldn't have made a big deal, deal about him fucking his mother. Like everyone who made a big deal of it, fucked, um, failed their otherworldly test that the guy Chris Chan gave to us. He's an interesting character. Wait, I can't go right and down. 
the hell's writing down? Write, write it down. Oh, I have to get over that wall. That's why. Yeah, all right, well, back to killing the Harveys. If it's interesting and being horrible, then yes. Uh, I mean it in both ways. I mean, like, he really is just fascinating. Like, everything about him. Like, how stupid he is. Um, but also, like, the shenanigans he gets into. There is... I digress. There's one, there's one thing about Chris Chan that he's better than me at. Um, for his little fake girlfriends... Like, he would actually, like, do nice things for them, like, trying to make them, like, videos and cards and all this other stuff, like comics and mixtapes. I would never go that far for a woman, and he's willing to do it for a fake girl on the internet, so good for him. Are your pants still attached from all the friction with the slides? Um, <laughs> that's a secret. He's not wearing pants. He's just got really white legs. He's shaped quite a bit. Oh, hey, there's a boss up here. This is like the third boss I'm going to fight this part? Okay. Well, let's spam the uh, cross again. Oh, a slime. What is this, Terraria? Speaking of Terraria, me and Choker eventually going to um stream that too. We streamed it before and then we got bored of streaming it, so then we just started playing it for real. But ever since they did that last update for Terraria, um, I've been kind of wanting to go back to it. With that serious Road Rash. And on a side note, uh, I'm thinking of doing Road Rash 64 for a stream. But yeah, no, he his legs are pretty much chafed. Like they're gone. This is a stupid easy boss. And this is like a late game boss. Like, even when it hits me, it doesn't even do that much damage. And no status effects, and no second phase. Like, what the hell was this? Oh, this room looks like um something out of Dead Cells. That's a tough Dead Cells is a tough ass game. I actually streamed that quite a while. Um I streamed it for almost two weeks straight trying to get beat the game with three boss cells. I finally did it. I made it to like four boss cells. I think I may have beat it with four boss cells. And then No, maybe I did. I don't know, I quit that game because it got way too hard. Like I had no way of getting it. Get that gold bond medicated powder. Gold bond, dry. Apply directly to the forehead. Apply directly to the motherfucking forehead. What's this way? Oh. No, I want a new superpower. I killed a boss, I get a new superpower. That's how this works. What am superpower at? Man, I've gotten so many hearts in this game, like, I don't even care about fucking ammo. At this point, I'm more worried about MP. Arg! Death has returned. You provided me with an answer, so I should reward you with an explanation. Castle's creation of Maxim's will. Okay. Its original spirit and a wicked spirit born from my lord's remains. Okay. No, that is true because he had that um, split personality moment last part. this castle. Okay, so there is two layers, so I don't think it's an upside-down thing, but okay. So I thought it would be a little weird that I'm already 70% done with this castle.
Oh, what the fuck is this? What the fuck? What does it mean? What does it mean? <gasps> Huh. So, oh, I'm only 37 explored on this one. My cross bag. Bad game. I still want my fucking item for beating the boss, though. Oh, uh, so all the enemies in the bee castle are upgraded. Okay. That makes more sense. You know, his ass must be lubed to slide across the floor that easily. This... Hear like a nice little liquid crunch every time. I don't know, these enemies aren't really harder, so... Okay, other than the aesthetic, I can't really tell what's changed about the castle. I wonder if maybe those other doors will open up now that were closed before. Because if that's not the case, then they just wasted time. Actually, can... Oh, so you can't go down. Okay. Oh, so that's why you can hit that. Skeleton ninjas. At first, I'm, I read that as skeleton nipples. Like, uh... <laughs> Seriously, though, none of these bosses have like a pattern to them. Like, you could just beat them. That's how the last game was, too. Because Castlevania is supposed to have like bosses with like unique attack patterns that are supposed to be hard to avoid. In Circle of the Moon, the only boss that was even challenging was Dracula. Uh, I guess Death kind of was, but then once I found out, you could just cheese the game with uh, crosses. Or not crosses, you could cheese the game with the icicle um, barricade. It was like, there's no point. White Dragon level 2. What's the diff? It, it literally acts the same as the other one. I don't think these enemies are any tougher. If they are, it's only maybe a couple of hit points, and maybe they deal more attack. This game's too easy for its own good. Like, it's kind of top heavy, where, like, the beginning of the game's super hard, and then um, once you get to a certain point, you're just a god. Honestly, that's what Mar uh, Marwin did. And Marwin's one of my favorite games ever. But that game's super tough in the beginning. And then once you hit, like, level 30, like 20 or 30, you're essentially god. You can't be stopped. That makes you feel good after the game put you through so much shit earlier. Alright, well, I guess I can't go through that door either. I wonder if I'm supposed to knock the Guardian down and he'll knock down that barricade. But it's longer. Talking about the cast? I mean, it's a bit longer now, but I mean, I okay, that worked. At least they have better puzzles in this game than they did in Circle of the Moon. The only puzzles Circle of the Moon have are those like moving box puzzles. Kind of hard to even call those puzzles too. Still on my item for being a fucking slime boss, though. A little bit pissed off about that. <laughs> oh, 
love how those things just last until you just start hitting something. What am I... What am I doing? Am I racing the ball? What is this, Battletoads? the like the graphics of this part of the castle kind of look like hers on is why let's talk about the dragon oh see i can hardly tell it looked oh shit that ball's gonna be me out run i thought i was so far ahead turns out uh i was just wasting time Did I win? Oh! Okay, well, I lost, but I opened up the other door. Oh, god damn it! So I won, but then I went the wrong way. That's a terrible song. Wait, did I do the? Oh no, this is this is actually where I need to go. Healing mail, heart choker. Your heart choker. When standing still, armor slowly restores user HP. Has a lot lower defense, but I think, eh. I can see where it could be useful, but I don't know. I already got some pretty good armor, so I don't really care. Increases three of big hearts. It doesn't really seem like stuff I kind of need this late in the game. This game wasn't balanced very well. Okay, so now we're at... Where do I need to go? Oh, all the way up. And then left down. Up, up. Down, down, left, right, left, right. That should be breakable. Why even have stairs that lead up that way if it's not breakable? So, why, why even have these fucking dead ends? If it's not breakable, it, hmm. Again, that's what I was talking about earlier. There's like no secret rooms in this game. Hell, even the original Castlevania, you could break it like a ledge or something to get some chicken. Or roast beef or whatever the fuck it was. So where am I going? Down, down, bing, down, 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 down. Okay, another boss. That was easy. So in Symphony of the Night, when you do the Upside Down Castle, the game gets super... Like, you think you're good, and then the fucking game's difficulty just turns it up to 20. 
that's what I thought was about to happen here, but uh, I was mistaken. Holy shit, that was even easier than the slime fight. And it just gives you a big up heart. What is up with the balancing in this game? Like, okay, I like when games when you level up and you feel better, like, you know, there's a point to leveling up. But I don't even think the level up is what made me stronger. It's just that the enemies stop scaling. I don't know. It makes me sad, though. Brass knuckles, them chuckle knuckles. Use my emperors. Oh, it just increases your attack, but honestly, my attack's pretty good without it. Hm. That's funny. I'm just going back down. No, not the axe. I think it's garbage. There's the boots. Oh, you know what? Let me go up first. Because that looks like a closed off room if I go up and right. Okay, so I just completed that circle. Let's go up and right. I'm, I'm just gonna run past these things. No. Oh. oh, it's dead. I guess I'll fight now. And I guess I can go up. So I think once I go back to the pendulum with the spice, I'm just leaving the area. Let's go left and then left again. Actually, no, that's leaving the area. Down and then right down. All right, well, okay. All these fucking Medusa heads. Don't even... 
He's not even a level 2 version, he's just the same guy. Oh! I jumped into that. Probably heal pretty soon. Oh, you actually have to hit it to make it go down. Wait, can... Looks like I can go down. Oh, but I can't. It's blocked off. Okay, whatever. His dead body hurt me. That should probably heal just to be safe. The other game, they were super stingy with potions. I'm gonna go get that whatever. easier to run past. I mean, yeah, you'll take some damage if you fight them, but, I mean, it's not really that bad. And shit, there's a healing room, like, right there. Or, save room. Should go save after I, after I get that item. Crushing stones. What does that do? By holding attack down, charge attack can break some walls. Oh! And I think only the special walls, too. Oh, wasn't there a save room with a breakable wall somewhere? Or was that in Castle A? Castle A. Okay, so we're gonna go hit that save room. I'm switching back to the other stone until I need it. Blue streak speeds by. That's the wrong way. Oopsie poopsie. Where is that safe? Oh, back to your rooms. Okay. Um, what was on the other side of those pendulums? It's a door that leads back to, I guess, like the main castle. Oh, oh. It's kind of hard to follow what's going on. We're going to go down all the way left through that other door.
Ooh, another boss. Ooh, it's Legion. Okay, Legion actually does damage. So, you know what I'm gonna do? I'm actually gonna use some, um, mana prisms. They really don't give you M uh, MP in this game. The other game, I never worried about running out. Even when I was using like the high level spells. Only, oh, oh, he's getting his other lasers. And another boss fight, I cheese with the cross. Another level up. The other game was stingy with the XP it gave. But now, I mean, the enemies are super easy, and they give you a bunch of XP, so I'm just leveling up one after another. Speaking of which, what level am I right now? 25. Damn. I think I got to like 40 something in Circle of the Moon. Ooh, and a scary shadow. Oh, drop my cross. <gasps> it despawned. Oh no. My overpowered weapon. Take it from me too soon. And that just spins in the same spot. Alright, well, I gotta find another cross. Did that thing really get killed off one crit? What the fuck? Fucking die. Oh, you know what? I probably was supposed to bounce on that thing. Get that bust. Oopsie poopsie. Might be able to use that one. Feel quit beating my ass. Oh, 
Alright, come on, my guy. I need you to follow me. Come with me, and you'll see. Alright, okay, he's not he's not following me. So, he's just gonna have to die. As he stops becoming immune to damage. I wonder if this lets me break those sealed doors. That pressure rock I got. Big ups, mana prism. Let's see what this one says. The red book and the dagger share a secret. Um, okay. I think that's actually helpful. But it looks like I'm going to bounce on another person's head. Get that thing up there too. So let's go back down and then make these enemies respawn. God damn it! I don't need both of you. Wait a minute. I don't need to jump on their head. Well, at least these guys had. That was a platform. Duh. Okay, I think I'm gonna jump on the other one's head, though. Is there an item that gives me more invincibility frames? That's gonna be something I would need. I need to bring one of those swords over here. Um, I guess that works. And we're gonna heal again. I need to go back to the shop and buy more potions. there. God damn it. So, he can hurt you, and then the sword radius hurts you, too. I just killed him. Okay, you know what? I, I give up. Those things are way too annoying to bounce off their heads. To fucking do that. Okay, and that didn't break the door either. So I guess it's literally just for those other doors. Okay, well, let's 
for that, so... Oh. I wasted a lot more potions than I really wanted to on that last room. about a little less than 20 minutes left of the stream. I wonder if I'll be able to run to another boss fight before then. Okay, I need to go right down and then right up. Right down. Right up. And another level up. Yeah, I'll take the Bible. It's probably the closest thing I'll have to the cross ability. Okay, I need to explore this room more. It's a save room. Oh, I might be able to break that wall. Heart of Vlad. Okay, so I'm collecting more of these Dracula parts. Has power to negate petrification. That's cool. So I think I'm gonna need all these for the final boss, otherwise I'll probably get a bad ending. Maybe this game doesn't have multiple endings. I know Area of Sorrow does. It's a Hellmont. If you don't even like go into the reflection, oh, it don't matter. I like that enemy type. That's cool. Although uh, there's literally nothing stopping me from just running.
<laughs> Bone liquid. I don't think that means what you think it means, game. So that'd be a warp room. Ooh, there's a cross, thank god. Maybe there's a boss room up ahead. Oh shit. That's the one I want. Red book and daggers secret. That's what he said. I he the uh, card. Am I back down here? Huh. So there's just one giant circle. Oh, would you look at that? You know what? Hmm. I'm getting near that time, but what I want to do, I want to explore that other room. There's a room down there. That oh, big old room, there's a door. Let's see what the hell that leads to. Because I think once I find that, it's uh, where I'm about to call it for the night. Ooh, that thing almost just fucking killed me. I was too excited to just run forward. Up. Left. Damn, no shortcuts. Okay, up and left. Shit. I think all the way left. Uh, yep. Left one. Okay. Once again, or right. I want to say left. And I think this is the room with the save. Yeah, I one shot these things now. Right. 
them down right. Oh, yeah, there is that secret door at the ball. Oh, I say secret, but it's not really. Right here. All that. All that for furniture. That room's gonna look so pretty when I'm done. I think this is a good spot to save at. So, next time I pick up, probably tomorrow, I'm going to be doing more ex exploration of Castle B than returning back to Castle A to get some other things that I've been missing. But all right, oh, let me do this save too to be super sure. So I almost cried today. But, all right, I'm out. Thanks for watching.